there are principles in life I am a teacher of the mysteries and the principles of the kingdom if you don't plant anything in a farm something will still grow because you are not the only farmer around your farm very very powerful faithfulness comes from the Greek word pistos and it means fidelity it means dependability trust the ability to be truthful this is a very profound character of god in fact the bible calls him i think it's in revelation 22 the rider upon the white horse he said his name is faithful and true it is not just what he does it is who he is hallelujah that's Revelations 19:11, I believe. Please give it to us. I hope I'm right on that. 19:11, faithful and true. Yes, the rider on the white horse. The Bible says, "He that sat upon him was called faithful and true." That means you can depend on him. That means if God says, "I will lift you," you can be rest assured that as far as his own part of the commitment is concerned, there is no shadow of turning. As far as he is concerned, say amen. amen. Psalm 119, Psalm 119, please give it to us quickly. Psalm 119 from verse 90. The Bible says every generation has the right to experience the faithfulness of God. The faithfulness of God is unto all generations. That means there is no generation that is exempt from experiencing his faithfulness. Any generation that so desires can experience the faithfulness of God. Joshua chapter 21. My birthday three years ago, the Lord gave me this prophetic word. Joshua 21, 43 to 45. Joshua 21. And the Lord gave unto Israel all the land which he swore to give unto their fathers. And they possessed it and dwelt therein. Reading to 45, it says, And the Lord gave them rest round about, according to all that he swore unto their fathers. And there stood not a man of all their enemies before them. The Lord delivered all their enemies into their hands. I like verse 45. There failed not aught any good thing which the Lord had spoken to the house of Israel. Help me read the last sentence. All came to pass. How many? The word for your healing. The word for your lifting. The word for your restoration. It says all came to pass. Let me speak it as a prophetic word for someone. All must come to pass. I say it again. All must come to pass. All came to pass. That is the character of faithfulness all came to pass that means the quality of god's faithfulness insists that he keeps scanning your life to find out what has not yet come to pass that he said and to insist that means you can see a man increased in finances and yet god is still on his case and you say god but he's enjoying an area god says no my assignment by the spirit is to see that all someone prophesy all that's a prophetic word for you say all mm, all lord you said this year my family will rise thank you for my spiritual life but all must come to pass all came to pass all came to pass there was not one word hallelujah in 1 Thessalonians 5.24 1 Thessalonians 5.24 The Bible says Faithful is he that calleth you That means you need to know the credibility of the one who called you When you send someone Listen, when you send someone on errand Or when, when you are about to send someone And he does not know you Most times you want to vet the credibility of the person you are sending me, Moses said, but who are you? You need to reveal yourself to me. I cannot stand before Pharaoh doubting who you are and doubting your power. He said faithful, not just powerful. There are men who are powerful, but they are not faithful. 
To be powerful means you have the ability, but the fidelity to remain is not there. Faithful is he that calleth you, who also will do it. Hallelujah. Knowing that God's faithfulness is without question, why then, listen carefully, why then do we have believers who do not seem to experience the fullness of the life, the power, the grace, the miracles of God over their lives? I want you to pay attention now. If it is true that God is faithful as we have seen from scripture, why then do we have situations that don't seem to change? Why then do we have conditions? Maybe health, your home, your children, your life. What then is the problem? Psalm 74 from verse 9. I found a very powerful scripture. Please pay attention. God is speaking to us now. He said, we see not our signs. There is no more any prophet. Neither is there among us that knoweth how long. How long this situation? How long will I continue in this situation of misery and poverty and attacks and pain? We do not see the signs that tell us the end has come. Next verse. Oh God, how long shall the adversary reproach? Shall the enemy blaspheme your name forever? Uh huh. Why withdrawest thou thy hand, even thy right hand? He said, pluck it out of your bosom. Verse 12. Let's hurry up. For God is my king of old, walking salvation in the midst of the earth. It means I know that you can do this. It is within your power to change my story, turn my life around, give my family a miracle. Your salvation and your works is not something I am in doubt of. Next verse. Thou didst divide the sea by thy strength. Thou breakest the heads of the dragon in the waters. Reading to 2014. Thou breakest the head of Leviathan in pieces and gave him to be meat to the people inhabiting the wilderness. Thou didst cleave the mountain and the flood. You did dry up mighty rivers. The day is your own. Even the night is also your own. And thou prepares the light and the sun. Look at this, 17. Thou has set all the borders of the earth. Thou has made summer and winter. That means you are the one in control of seasons. That means, Lord, I, there is no reason why my life should be like this. As far as your faithfulness and power is concerned, the word of God already says you are ever ready. What then is the reason why I do not see my signs? 18. Remember this, that the enemy has reproached, O oh Lord, and that the foolish people have blasphemed your name. 19. O oh, deliver not the soul of thy turtle dove unto the multitude of the wicked. Forget not the congregation of thy poor forever. The last verse. It says, have respect. Palash kanima lakusia. Have respect unto the covenant. That means... I don't know what is stopping you from stretching your hands. I don't have a right to question you, but I know how you operate. Have respect unto the covenant for the dark places of the earth are the habitation of cruelty. You know what was happening to the psalmist? He was looking for all the ways he can get God to arise on his throne and move. He said, Lord, I do not see these signs. I don't know why I can belong to such a powerful God, such a mighty God, one who gives children yet I'm barren, one who can open doors yet I'm stagnated. He said, I do not see my signs, but Lord, I do not forget. You parted the Red Sea. You are still a great God. I do not doubt your ability. What can I do that will get you up from your throne to arise and visit me? I am the creation. I am I'm a creature, not the creator. I can command you, but there is something I can tell you. Have respect. Mageta Bosch Kaliga Parousia. Have respect unto the covenant. The only thing I can invoke that can make you arise is your faithfulness. Remember, you do not change. Remember, you are not a man. 
people can jump from one political party to the other depending on the situation people can jump from one region to the other depending on the convenience people can change but i know that you have fidelity have respect i should not be in this situation if it is true that you are my god if it is true that you are the lifter of men if it is true that you are the door yourself have respect there needs to be something that gets you from your throne to arise in your power and your majesty and to visit me he said we see not our signs please pay attention